This is a, uh, we're gonna pair chocolate with peppermint as a classic holiday combination. Now, do you love peppermint? No. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay, you know why? Because you can do this with either using the peppermint, which peppermint chocolate is very delicious, or you can use milk chocolate. Do you like that? Okay, so you'll learn the technique, all right? And um, be quiet. And uh, <laughs> <laughs> so uh, here to share her recipe for chocolate peppermint crunch is our TV chef, Nikki Elkins. So Nikki, show us how to do this. So we're making a chocolate peppermint crunch. The base is uh, chocolate graham crackers. And Cho I you like chocolate graham crackers? Yes. They're fun. Okay. Um, I, can't, I wanted to come up with a recipe that was quick affordable and a lot of fun and uh, I tried a few things out in the test kitchen you tried a few of them and this I we, gained 14 yeah. pounds last <laughs> I week I mean trying all the different this things. is addictive we've yes. been so we've sort of banned it from the kitchen because okay. it's so yummy so basically what you do is you make a toffee and here I've got a stick and a half of melted butter and I'm gonna add three quarters of a cup of light brown sugar and then some salt because we always love the sweet salty right. buttery crunchy type of dessert and what you do is you bring that up to a boil, which we have right here. Uh -huh. So you have a swap out. We have a swap, okay. yeah. And this is what you want it to look mm. like. You want it bubbly, and uh, it's actually so, so hot right now, so okay. you have to be careful. But what you do is then now, you take... This is something your mom will have to pour. Right, okay. this definitely you need help with. So you pour this evenly over the Ooh. crackers. Oh, <laughs> don't touch. Definitely don't want to touch okay. that. That's this is so hot. Toffee caramel right now. Mm -hmm. And then what you do is you take an offset spatula. I'll do that. And you spread it evenly. Okay. And I'm using a sill pad underneath. Yeah, they're your sill pads yes. and they're great so that if any goes over to the side, it doesn't ruin your pan and it comes off nice and easy. Yeah. Well, it wouldn't ruin the pan, it would dirty the pan <laughs> and then you have to clean it. Hard to it. get it off. Yes. So what we do after we spread it is we're gonna bake this in a 350 degree oven for about eight minutes. And you what's bake gonna, the whole thing? You bake the whole thing. Oh. And so the toffee uh, seeps into the graham crackers oh. and it um, sort of turns a crunchy, crispy deliciousness. Okay. And what we have here is one that we have had cooling for about three to four minutes. And the reason that I do that is so that when you were in the kitchen and we were developing Is she talking this, too fast for you? <laughs> is she talking too fast? No. No, no. okay. When we were developing it, what we found was that when we put the chocolate on it, right when it was fresh out of the oven, it was so hot that the chocolate just completely melted. Oh. So you suggested that we wait a little longer, and I devised a way that you can sort of neatly chop the chocolate using a serrated knife, which cleanly cuts chocolate. Um, we're using the peppermint bark, which is great because it combines three different and it has a cute color, so pink, in it. pink and kind of, sort of creamy white. Yeah, it's the, the milk chocolate. You can also get it in dark chocolate with the white chocolate as well as the peppermint. So it's really a, a great time saver. And then what you do is I like to use a spatula to cleanly pick it up so you get most of the white on the top. Oh, good. And that keeps it really pretty. It to the hot yeah, and that sort of, um, you inspired me to do that because you wanted it to look a little cleaner. It looked such a mess the first time. <laughs> um, but at home, if you don't want to do Not that bad. and you don't have time, you can definitely just sprinkle it yeah. and it'll be just as delicious. So you see that? You want to taste a piece? Sure. Okay, I'm going to give you a piece to taste. Definitely. So you finish that and when you um, let it set, if you need to put it in the refrigerator for five or ten minutes so that the chocolate sets up, you can do that. And then it is great as a holiday gift. We have one that's really cute right here that's packaged. I love that. Yeah, and it's just, it's so much here. fun. And it's easy, and it's obviously been a huge hit here. I think it'll be a huge hit uh, as a holiday gift this season. You might change your idea about peppermint. What do you think? Does <laughs> I'm not it, so sure. What do you think? Tastes good. It does taste good, <laughs> see? See the chocolate, the coffee, and the peppermint. It's a great idea.